Hello, I am Joey Richardson. In 2005, I was fortunate enough to be awarded a bursary from the Worshipful Company of Turners. This changed my life and it took my wood turning from a hobby to a full-time profession. The bursary funded a trip to America where I trained with Bin Fo, who, in my opinion, was the best in the world at embellishing turned wood. Sadly, Bin recently passed away, but thanks to the bursary, I'm able to continue his legacy. The bursary was the start of an exciting journey for me. My art got accepted into many exhibitions and collections. And then in 2012, I was fortunate once more and was awarded a scholarship from Quest, which is the Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust. This enabled me to cast my work in glass and that added another layer to my artwork. In 2015, I was awarded the Quest Award of Excellence, which I'm very proud of for my contribution to the craft. I've recently completed an MA in Fine Art and this tree house, which I built in my garden, was part of my second semester. It is my contemplative space where much of my creative process takes place. It is here that I do my design on my work, I do my sketches, whoops, I need curly whirlies, and end up with pieces like this. I'm very fortunate that my work takes me all around the world and I teach and demonstrate my techniques globally. So let us go into my studio now and see how I create pieces like this. I totally escape when I'm in my tree house. I've got fantastic views over the open fields at the back. The tree house was made all of reclaimed wood and disused scaffolding planks. As we go down the steps, I can see my house and studios I have a drawbridge here, which when it's up, people know not to contact me. Lower the drawbridge and we have a very excited spaniel who's <laughs> always excited to see me when I come down. So we start off with the tree, all reclaimed wood, chainsaw it up. This was my COVID stockpile in my freezer. And then we move into the turning studio. So sharpen the tools and we're ready to go. Get the wood and the lathe, take off the bark, we make a spigot, hold it in the chuck, and then we can start to shape it. Beautiful green sycamore, the shavings just fly. It is so therapeutic, so relaxing. Next, I shape the outside and then the inside. Now, to get it really thin, I shine a light through it. Oh, nearly lost it there. And I just keep taking cuts. So if it's yellow, it's just right. The dark orange is too thick. So just keep taking it down. If it goes white, it's oh dear. But there we have a beautiful turned piece, even thickness walls of about two, three mil. All the edges are then cut with a little saw and then carved. So there's an awful lot of carving to be done on it. And unfortunately, there's even more sanding, hours and hours of sanding. A lot of preparation work before we can go on with the airbrush. So a lot of masking, mask everything up and peel it off and then we're ready to go. A few different techniques I use with the airbrushing. Um, this is one where I make my own stencil out of acetate, cut it out, and then what I do is I layer the stencil on the wood and I keep going on with the layers of paint. These are golden acrylic transparent paint so you can see the layers building up through it and we get an absolutely fantastic effect. I can, of course, just go on and do airbrushing, not like I've done on this wooden petal here where you can actually paint a, a picture with it. The pyrography machine is very um, one of my most used machines. Everything has pyrography lines on it. A pyrography up to where I'm going to airbrush, a pyrography up to where I'm going to texture, a pyrography up to where I'm going to pierce. And it gives a nice stopping point. So here we are texturing. Takes a long time. And that is with this high speed air drill. And this is the same drill here that I am using to do the piercing. So it runs at 400,000 RPM, extremely fast. It's a dentist drill and I can cut all my shapes out and hide lots of things in there in the piercing. This is a wood piece and this is the glass piece cast from the wood. And this is bronze, which is cast again from the wood. This is what I did with my Quest scholarship, which was sponsored by the Worshipful Company of Carpenters. This piece here is wood with a combined glass petal. This is all wood and there's quite a lot of carving on that piece. This piece is from the Queen's Estate at Sandringham. 
and the whole story in this piece is about our day there getting this wood. Moonflies, a lot of carving on moonflies. This is my turned teapot, which was for an exhibition. This was an egg that was commissioned by Fabergé and I worked with Sarah Fabergé. We collaborated on both of these eggs and it was a very exciting project and they was given as awards. Here is some of my MA work, a ceramic log and an axe carved from the controversially felled trees from Sheffield. This life-size shed has 124 pierced panels and it depicts different stories on each panel. This five foot high screen or room divider has 25 panels which depict the seasons on it. I'm also taking the panels and doing prints from them. Lockdown has proved both difficult and challenging, with many of my family members on the front line and others having to shield. My art has been my therapy, and here I've been experimenting with different painting techniques. I've also been experimenting with gilding, and this piece has gold leaf in it. Here we have gold and silver leaf and painting techniques, more different painting techniques, and I've made a lot of pieces of windows because everybody's been sat looking out the windows. Another window piece. Look carefully and you'll see this green panel with two butterflies on which turns to red. Depending which way you turn it, it goes from red to green, from the danger zone and back to the safe zone where we can go back outside again. All of these butterflies are starting to appear. Some have come out, some are staying locked in, some are still shielding. Every piece I make is unique. Each piece tells its own story. And when I do commissions, I work with the collector to incorporate their story, dreams and desires. And so my story, my exciting journey from my 2005 bursary has now turned a full circle. I'm very proud to say I am a court assistant of the Turner's Company and sit on the bursary committee and mentor others. I would like to thank the Turner's for all their continued support.